Uh, now we're going to create an endpoint uh, to get the pictures uh, that we saved to the database. So uh, first uh, here where we have our functions and we have this hello function. Let's actually rename it to save photo uh, as we renamed it here already and um, for fetching our photos we will create a, a get photos endpoint and handler will be in functions get photos we have this get photos here twice because this one is a uh, file name and this one is the name of the function itself. And under events, we'll add again HTTP API and path is gonna be the same, just let's do it on the root and method will be get. Now let's create the file here we can just copy paste from here whatever we have and rename to get photos so here we don't need this import, we don't need a uh, parser, all we need is just uh, AWS SDK. So let's uh, fetch our photos from DynamoDB and again we will need our uh, table name, the same as here, this one, we can copy as well just instead of um, instead of the put function we will uh, use scan so uh, here we could also use query and for the most use cases uh, of DynamoDB uh, query is a preferable way to fetch data because it's uh, better performance wise Scan would uh, just go through all the uh, documents in the table, scan the entire table and then return the results. And query uh, would look for particular item using primary key, primary key or secondary indexes. Um, but here we just want to fetch all our pictures anyway, so it doesn't matter what we use and for simplicity I will just use scan. And we don't need this item, we only need table name. And we also can set the limit here to tell our database how many pictures we want to get. We can set 50. Anyway, we have only one now, so it doesn't matter. And then we have to return our result. We will assign it to the variable and yeah, results and we will return it here. We also don't need recognition here and S3 as we just getting our database documents and nothing else. So let's run our server and try to test the endpoint with Postman. You see we got now two names, two functions, save photo and get photo. So very interesting. It says root not found. That's strange. I just had this typo here, this indentation should be one more and now it should work. Yes, now we get our items, but you can see it has just a name of the picture and the list of labels, but it doesn't have a link. So let's uh, tran transform our response here to return the link to the picture uh, rather than just the name. 
So let's create a utility function for our response to be for our response to have links to the pictures and let's call it format photo response. And it's gonna be very simple function that just accepts a list of images and then uh, we're gonna have our bucket name that we get from environment was that bucket name yeah this one And I'm gonna return this list, but transformed a bit. So here you see we have name, labels, and primary key. And we're gonna take the, I'm gonna just take the item and return an item. And then URL is gonna be our bucket name and then just S3 Amazon AWS com and then we're gonna have our name item name and I think that's it so let's try to import our function and here we got our results we're gonna format them and now let's test it again yes it's not a function because here we have if we cancel that if we undo that and try again Our results is not array we have to pass a results item yeah and you see we've got this URL next step will be to add a fetch request to uh, fetch the photos on our client so let's switch to the client and in our API file we will add another function that we will call fetch photos. And it will be very simple. It will just fetch from our API URL and return the response. now uh, let's create new component uh, we already have our uploader so now I want to create a new component let's call it um, images list and What we're gonna do here is uh, just simply call our React query. You remember we need to use query, use query hook, and the name of our query will be photos, and we will pass our fetch function fetch 
photos that we just created and from our hook we will return two things that we need is loading that is uh, indication of our uh, of the status of our request when it's still pending we will we can show uh, we can conditionally show spinner and second one will be data that will be fetched from the api i'm not quite sure what's wrong with this so let's return just just an mcd for now and console log our data and let's import our image list to apts under the uploader hmm. i think it's probably because syntax uh, had changed in the new version and i still remember the third version so let's check let's query docs but let's open quick start uh -huh, query key query function so instead of just uh, parameters as it was in third version we have to pass the actual object here okay let's copy it here and here is going to be fetch photos and this one should be photos and this thing we will delete and now uh, let's refresh our client and we get our data with results with one single picture that we uploaded let's try just to display it here so if loading we will return for now just just a string then we will we will add the proper spinner it's not happy that i return the string it wants me to return a react element so i have to wrap it with a fragment okay now here let's map through our uh, data result whatever data results yes and here we want these parentheses and here i want them as well so we could do this to format it a little bit why this is not happy oh it's never read okay i'm got a bit confused with all these parentheses but now that's fine so here we need just image tag uh, with src that's gonna be image url and how alternative text can be we have our labels as well so let it be image labels let's pick the first one oh it has any type we need to type it okay let's let's create a type where we will have our URL as a string labels 
as an array of strings. Now our TypeScript completely happy and yeah, you can see we've got our picture and yeah, we need to add a key prop here. Let it just be the image prim primary key, image primary key, but TypeScript doesn't know about it, so we need to add it. So React is happy. Let's upload one more picture. So our file, our file uploaded and what we can do, we can make our query automatically update when we upload the new file. That's the functionality that React Query gives us out of the box. So you remember we added mutation in our photo uploader here and on success we can just uh, invalidate the query photos yeah we need to get our query client first we need to import it from react query oh no of course i need just use query client so how do we invalidate query if you if you type it in docs you can see we need just our query client and to call this function with the query key so let's copy it over here and yes we need this to create a client And instead of to do's, we want to have our photos here. So now, yeah, now we just updated, but we want to try one more time. Do we have something? Okay, we have a parrot. So our picture is uploading, and when it's uploaded, it automatically it automatically refreshes our feed and appears on the screen. So that's it. We created our table, we wrote our images in it and we also fetched them and displayed on the client. The next step will be to make our application, our client, a little bit nicer, adding some styles. I will not uh, do it with some complicated uh, CSS in JS libraries, I will just use some framework for styling and uh, we'll try to do it as quickly as possible not to focus on this as our tutorial is more about uh, functionality and logic rather than styles so see you in the next video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if this video was useful for you